All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Yes, the iPhone 15 Pro. So I've had this device for going on six months and it's been an experience. So I recently shuffled away from using it as my primary device. Uh, not that I'm getting rid of it or I'm saying I'm switching. It's nothing like that. I don't make videos saying I'm switching to and from because I have so many devices that I switch every other month sometimes. But this device stayed in rotation as my primary device um, for for a long time for about for me that's a long time uh, to use an iPhone because uh, I haven't used an iPhone for more than six months since the um, iPhone 10 I believe I, I believe I use iPhone 10 for well no actually I retract that the iPhone 13 Pro that one stayed in and the iPhone 13 Pro Max had those for a year straight before swapping between those but this one right here is special man because it's it's got everything I need uh, in one package. So the, the thing about the iPhone is that it's a matter of preference, just like every other cell phone. Some people will tell you that you should definitely get the bigger version, the max for the battery. Well, I think for me at this point, I don't really focus on, after a certain amount of time, I just put it on the charger when I end the day now. Like I don't, uh, after I'm, I feel like once I'm kind of out of full throttle, like wide open throttle on a review, which for me is about between one and three months, I can scale it back. I can just start, you know, charging whenever I want. I'll get some sense of how good the battery is and things like that. But, um, you know, overall, this, this phone is, is phenomenal and going six months straight with it or roughly six months straight with it. Is, is an experience. I'm just going to move it to another SIM card. I'm going to move it to the third SIM because, you know, I'm using a Samsung and a Pixel right now as primaries. And uh, actually, this device is this video is being recorded by the Galaxy S24 Ultra. You let me know what you think about the quality. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be great. Uh, but um, make sure I'm still in view. Um, this device overall is going to be a device that's complete for a lot of people. Now, the device itself, uh, I typically don't wear a case, but I do have lens protectors on there. I thought it was pretty cool to get some nice little uh, deep red uh, lens protector covers instead of just basic black. And uh, that's just the only thing I've done. I put a tempered glass on it, and it typically uh, looks like this when I'm using it. Or if I leave the house sometimes, I'll go ahead and put it in a Rinky Onyx or a Rinky Camo case or something like that, and then go on about my way. So the, the experience with uh, an iPhone, I think a lot of people... Um, I feel that most people that I know with an iPhone, they enjoy using it when it comes to social media uh, and taking photos and videos. I always tell a person, if you have an iPhone, I had a buddy of mine, I said, if you have an iPhone, go into your settings. Go Because he was doing, uh, he owns a company and he was doing some, uh, he's doing more social media stuff, like to promote his company. And I told him, I said, Go into your set. He asked me, I mean, how'd you get your quality of that short like that? Or how'd you get that that quality of that, you know, short clip like that? Because he has an iPhone, so I would send him stuff directly. And I said, go into your settings. And I'll tell any iPhone person to do this. Go into your settings. And when you go in, just turn your, your, your video all the way up if you can. Uh, and if you don't want to turn it all the way up to 4K60, put it on 4K30 at least. Uh, and then if you just want to save room or you don't have a lot of space on your iPhone, do 1080p 30 with HDR turned on. Make sure HDR is turned on and enhance stabilization for video and cinematic mode if you use cinematic mode a lot. But make sure these two are turned on uh, and then make sure the frames are set to auto 30 and 60. And then, you know, just make sure you I guess most importantly, I tell people if you want to promote something on social media, turn on HDR. HDR has got to be. One of the high points for me when using an iPhone, some clips that I do uh, and they're in HDR, they just look beautiful. Let me go to see if I can find something here. Uh, but, 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 let me see a short or something that I've done. It just looks better. That just looks so good. This just looks great. Like there's nothing that I dislike. The color is on point. The quality is great. And that is it. That's a short that I'm going to post soon to my card channel and social media. I just shoot a few of them out there. Look at the quality on here, man. This is just 
phenomenal quality. And I'm saying that because I prefer Apple's HDR over pretty much a lot of the Android phones that offer HDR. I do. I think theirs is just better. Uh, this the, the quality, the way it looks, is just so much better. And these colors are represented just mwah, it's on point. So to me, if a person has an iPhone, those you should at least turn on HDR no matter what mode you're shooting in. It's going to bring your, your footage to life, especially when you post it on social media. And then when you do post on social media, you need to um, you need to make sure that when you're posting, you have um, high uh, like the full, um, you know, the full when you're posting the content. Uh, it's, it's where you turn on like um, the high resolution uh, or something like that. I'm trying to see where you do. I forgot where you do it at. But it's under your your content where you're um, uploading the stuff to, to to social media. Make sure that that's turned on. It's a shame I'm trying to tell you about something I can't remember how to get to. It. <laughs> yeah. Man, look. Okay, look. All right. Now I never claim to be an expert. Uh, somebody showed me how to get in there, and turn it on, and I turned it on. Nonetheless, make sure that. Let me see if I can find. It. I'm not gonna be like that. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Okay, I found it. It's down, here, it's down here, right in front of my face. Okay, look, man, I don't claim to be no expert. It's right here under media quality. It used to be profile, um, settings, privacy, account, data usage, or something like that. But it's right here. Make sure you have this turned on. High quality upload. And also make sure you disable or have this turned off. Disable HDR video playback. Uncheck that because you want to see the best quality. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to have it to where it's not good. So, anyway, social media after that long spill on an iPhone has been great. I prefer to use the cameras that way with HDR. Uh, now, away from that, another thing about uh, this phone, the smaller variant. This is a smaller variant. Some people will tell you to um, get the Max because of the battery. Yes, I agree. The Max does have Better battery. Ah, morning coffee. But um, that doesn't mean that this one does, doesn't have good battery. I can make it through a full day with this. And so, and into the next day, I always say a full day when I'm reviewing some things, but into the next day, um, I can make it into the next day with without hitch. It's, it's fine. So I noticed that comparing this to my Max models, I do have to charge this one, obviously, more. Uh, the Max versions I've gotten two, three days out of those before. So um, with this one, it's about a day, pushing a day and a half possibly. Yeah, you can get about a day and a half out of here. I can, but some people are getting better than that. Remember the battery life always depends on the user, no matter what phone it is. Even if a battery had, a phone has a small battery, somebody might get a lot of usage out of it, depending on what they're doing with the device. So just keep that in mind. But battery life on here has been great to me. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Now, let's see what my battery degradation is after um, the six months of using this straight through. It's probably not going to be anything bad. Uh, should be fine. Battery health, still at 100. Yeah, still at 100. So, um, I don't anticipate having any problems with this. I don't know about the next generation of this device, but we'll talk about that soon enough. But... Nonetheless, battery life is great to me on here. I just don't have any complaints about it. If I did, I'll report it for you. So is there anything I don't like about this device? Because um, really for me, it's just recording, social media, daily use. And one thing I, I didn't talk about much, I don't talk about much in videos, is the network. Because see, everyone's gonna get a different experience on the network. I use Visible as my primary carrier now, and their service runs on Verizon Wireless Network, and it's great. And I also use Google Fi and another server, but uh, a service provider. But Visible is my primary phone number now. After 25 and a half years with T-Mobile, they went to crap after they joined with Sprint. And my service literally just got bad. And so after all that time with them, I decided to save a ton of money and just go with Visible with just a $25 plan. It's totally worth it. It's, it's so worth it to me. So you got to pick. The service provider that's best in your area, you need to do coverage checks with the, all the providers. 
And I would tell a person, start with a prepaid version of the provider that you might want to go with. And like if I wanted to switch to Verizon, I, I'm visible is a good way to test their network. A lot of people, a lot of companies use Verizon's network, but I found that visible, it gives me access to the their um, ultra wide band with visible. So uh, it, it, their service has been great. I've tested a lot of providers that offer that they use Verizon's network. But if I was going to go with Verizon, I just say I know it's going to be great for me, probably, uh, possibly. But, or you could just test out the provider and then um, cancel the service within the time frame that they give you to cancel with no with no um, penalties or anything like that. So for me, the network conversation is isn't very talked about very much, but I'm having a pretty good I'm having like a great experience with, with visible, actually. Uh, and um, T-Mobile went to crap. You know, T-Mobile's prepaid service, believe it or not, I had actually activated another T-Mobile prepaid line because they got like a $5 line or a $10 line or whatever it is. And it's great. My other provider is US Mobile. So T-Mobile has just gone to crap for me, basically. But there are some areas, like when I when I use this device that I go to some areas where it doesn't work. And it's, it's at like the outlet mall. And so when I go out to the outlet mall for some reason, I lose service. I don't know why. Uh, literally, it's gone. Uh, they just blocking service out there, I guess, or whatever. But T-Mobile had no service out there either. The only one I found to be the strongest with no issues was AT&T. So, but with the iPhone, uh, I'm not having any problems with the network. Uh, I'm getting ready to switch this back to another U.S. mobile line. Put the, my U.S. mobile line on here. And, um, and I'll switch between the two. But I don't anticipate... Uh, leaving visible anytime soon their service is just way too good mint mobile is another pretty decent one where i live at but just you have to check where you live at to see if something is actually going to give you the best service when it comes to uh just the overall experience with this device a lot of people say oh you should have the max you should have the max you got big hands this is a big phone still folks this isn't a small device like it's full screen this is pretty a pretty nice size too. That's why I like this device right here because I think the size of the devices. That's why I like the Pixel Eight. I like phones that fold away, like the Z Flip Five. Uh, just any phone that can g get compact on me and still give me the same experience. I really like it. Now, one thing I like about the newer iPhones, the 15 model, is it does no longer has that brushed uh, that uh, excuse me that titanium uh, that uh, stainless steel bright shiny. I I don't like phones like that. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of phones are like that. And that's just where we are. This looks really nice, man. I really, it, it's really good. Like no fingerprints, anything on there. If there are fingerprints on here, it's very mild. I can barely see them. But this is just beautiful hardware right here. And I like what, what they're doing here, man. I really can appreciate what they're doing. The strongest suit of, the strongest points of this phone right here is going to be the cameras and the software uh, for me. Uh, I think these are some of the best cameras in the game, and um, it's just a it's a good look, man. I really like how Apple has done some things with their cameras, but these aren't the best cameras on the market. But this is the strongest suit of this phone right here. I think it's going to be the cameras, and Apple pushes that a lot by talking about like shooting movies and stuff with it. And they're right; you really can. Um, the weakest point of this phone was probably going to be the battery, um, even though it has great battery. Um, it's that's probably the weakest point or you can say another weak point would be the limitations of Apple as a whole how you can't do certain things um, because it's an iPhone you can't just link something because it's an iPhone you can just do certain things but I will say another strong point on this phone is the software because you see this app right here layouts it's no longer offered on Android for some reason I used it on Android for I've been using it since it came out years it is still available on, on Apple. Android stopped it for some reason. I don't know why. You can find the APK, APK outside of that and install it, but you run the risk of whatever. And so that's another strong suit about the, the iPhone or iOS platform. Everything is available at your disposal when it comes to apps. The support is another strong suit behind this phone right here. I could walk into any... Apple Apple phones, I buy Apple Care every time. Like most of my Apple products, I have Apple Care only because the support lives up to the hype. I, unfortunately, I have had to return uh, uh, Apple products before, 
and they don't it's no quarrels they don't have a return fee it's nothing you just walk in scan it they don't even open the box while they're in front of you i mean they should stop doing that because somebody gonna try to get in one time but nonetheless they don't even open the boxes they just you know scan it give your money back and it comes back within a day or so depending on how you paid but just the overall support of of apple products is one reason i keep buying all of their computers now the iphones um there i only have a few iphones but i have a ton of android phones because the selection and the options are just better to me there's just more of them and it's it's fun so with the iphone though they don't need to have a lot of selections because what they're offering is actually premium so there's a lot of strong points people often ask like well why aren't you saying anything bad about the devices what do you want me to say this is my experience the battery isn't that strong but i'm not gonna say it's trash and it's a horrible phone nah nah Everybody's experience is going to be different. There's going to be somebody who has this device and they can go three days opposed to my day, day and a half. Yeah, we all have a different amount of apps on our devices. We get, we're we all doing different things on our devices. It's just different. Everybody's doing something different on their device and everybody's experience is going to be different. This page right here and this page is pretty much the, with the main use for me with, with these devices, man. Social media. When I'm, when I'm, that's the reason for having some of these phones because I could just live with a flip phone, to be honest. But I don't want to carry around a laptop or a tablet anymore, so a smartphone is the way to go for me. I can conduct a lot of business on a smartphone. Yeah. Another downside to the iPhone is that it's not just a downside, so don't take this the wrong way, but RCS, the messaging, iMessage. To me, iMessage is Apple's bread and butter. Like They see it that way. But they really need to crack the code and let a few people in because it can open the doors for them. I've always said that they should license iMessenger to other platforms and they would win. They would make probably more money on that. You know how many Android users and Windows users, all these different people would buy the iMessage, pay for it monthly to use it or pay for it one time to use it. I think a monthly subscription of $2, Apple would rack. Uh, and I said $2. Apple would probably try to do $5.99 or $9.99 and be greedy about it. But that's something that can really take the iPhone to another level. And I know you can actually, there's programs and there's things to do it, but Apple just needs to get off of that high horse and buckle down and, and, and license iMessenger because you can already do FaceTime. You can do FaceTime on any. They don't even need it. You don't even need a, a, uh, uh, an iPhone or an Apple product to use FaceTime. You can FaceTime anybody now. You send them a link, boom, it opens up. Do it all the time. But this is such a great, great product, man. You know, like, what do you, what do you do? Like, how do you, why complain about it if it's not that bad? So, and the, I think the worst part of, of Apple products is still going to be probably, and I said the worst, I told you strong and, and weak points, but the worst part is always going to be the price. The price, that's a real weak point. Their storage options, they're charging like 100 to $200 in between options, depending on what you're buying. Yeah, it's, it's a big jump. I think these phones should all start at, at uh, 250 to 512 because the pricing, now Apple's keeping their pricing the same and they're making certain subtle adjustments, but, you know, still, for the pricing, man, you know, like some of their phones have 64 gigs of storage or 128 and they cost grip so this phone though it's a hot item man plenty of people the pro max is the more desirable one looks like um when you talk to people online or talk to people in person a lot of people have a pro max and respect i bought one too at one point but there's so many other products out there for the pricing that i pay for my one terabyte uh iphone pro max and my one terabyte version of this <laughs> they're just expensive man and and if you're not using if Apple promotes the cameras on here. So I feel like I'm winning because I've used these these cameras um, to do so much footage and the return on it for me has been phenomenal. I mean, I've device pretty much paid for itself the first time I turned it on. So, yeah, I paid a lot of money for it. But what I do for as a hobby, which is what you're looking at right now, YouTube is a hobby to me and it pays. It pays to do YouTube. If you can get the right following, if you can get the right products and you can keep up, keep up with what's going on, you can afford to do it. These things will pay for themselves. 
But the, the reality is 99% of the world is not doing content creation. They're watching the content creators and they're buying the stuff that we buy. And a lot of people are going broke. Shouldn't do that. Buy the buy a used iPhone, buy a lower trim iPhone. If you just want an iPhone, there's too many ways to get in the ecosystem with the phones. Very affordable. Apple has a recertified section. And while those prices are still higher than I think, you know, it should be sometimes Apple's doesn't do a good on trade ins. Now, they used to do they used to kill it on trade ins, but now they don't. So. For me, man, um, the overall experience by using iPhone, this iPhone 15 Pro for, for the last six months or so, it's been phenomenal. Not too many complaints, man. I've dropped it a bunch of times, not un intentionally. I'm not doing drop tests or whatever, but it's just been great. It's been a good experience. So I don't know how you feel about the iPhone lineup, but I'm not even a, a big Apple phone person. I'm more into the computers and stuff like that. So and tablets, but this has been a great experience. And I hope that you're having a great experience with yours. It's your man, Jay. How long have you had your iPhone? Have you had it about the same time as me? And and what do you feel about it? Are you having any problems, any crashes, experiences? I've never really had too much problems with iOS. I don't anticipate I will either. Anyway, comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.